Your government has been sent a letter by around 100 alcohol producers urging you don't destroy Scotland's drinks industry, a reference to the consultation on alcohol advertising. What level of economic damage to that industry do you think is an acceptable price to pay for intentions to improve public health? Um, this is not about doing economic damage to the alcohol industry. It is about making sure we're taking responsible steps to protect public health. I'm aware of the letter uh, that has been sent. The consultation, of course, is ongoing and the Public Health Minister will uh, meet with a range of stakeholders over the course of the consultation and obviously we'll consider all points that are made in the course of the consultation when it closes and the responses are analysed. I mean, we had many of these uh, same debates and discussions during the uh, passing of the minimum price for alcohol legislation and in the uh, court challenges that uh, came after that. And this is about a balance. Nobody, this is unlike the situation with tobacco and cigarettes, for example. Uh, nobody in government is telling people not to drink alcohol at all. This is about responsible uh, consumption of alcohol. And there is evidence uh, globally, uh, as well as uh, here at home, that advertising that glamorises uh, alcohol can lead to overconsumption of alcohol. So these are things that we need to consider carefully uh, and we will consider them carefully uh, as the consultation finishes and is analysed. Just to pick up on those comments you said there were around minimum pricing, your former ministerial colleague and MSP Fergus Ewing has said the bottle deposit scheme, which will also affect this industry, will decimate the drink sector and is the worst regulation he's seen for 43 years. Is he wrong? Um, I don't agree with those comments. I've not seen the uh, particular uh, comments that Fergus has made. I know he has uh, been vocal on this issue before. Uh, the deposit return scheme is, of course, uh, an environmental uh, initiative. It is about uh, promoting a circular economy, reducing waste, and it is something uh, that is important in that regard. Many other countries already have similar schemes in place. Uh, we've taken time to introduce this. In fact, uh, there has been some criticism levelled at government in the past over uh, what would be described as delays, as we have taken the time to listen to uh, the, the views of industry. And just in recent months, there have been uh, amendments made uh, to how we intended to proceed with that to take account of some of the views uh, that industry have put forward. And we'll continue to have that liaison and engagement and respond as, as far as possible. But this is an important step forward in trying to reduce waste, which is something I think all countries have a, a very serious responsibility to do right now. The, the final point I would make, which I think is one that is incumbent on all governments as we regulate for very good and understandable reasons. We've talked here uh, already uh, this morning about regulation that is uh, potentially about reducing harm from alcohol and in uh, the sense of the deposit return scheme, regulation that is about um, trying to reduce waste. But as we regulate, it is really important that we consider the overall impact on business and industry and engage with industry. I uh, spoke at the Business and Parliament conference uh, down in Holyrood on Friday morning, and that was one of the points that was being made by some of the businesses there. Uh, there needs to be as close as possible, as early as possible, consultation and engagement when we're contemplating changes of this so that any reasonable points that are made by industry to, to reduce any unnecessary impact are taken account of.